welcome to a new Groovitude video. Today we'll be looking at a piano arrangement of a well-known Venezuelan folk song titled Caballo Viejo. This song, composed by Venezuelan folk artist Simón Díaz, features a rhythmic arrangement in the style of Joropo Llanero, a musical genre originated in the Venezuelan and Colombian grasslands. Traditional rhythmic structures in Joropo music are based on the polyrhythmic interplay of different patterns played by folk instruments, cuatro, harp, and maracas. In this arrangement, we are going to try to recreate the rhythmic structure of this song in the piano. Let's start by looking at some of the rhythmic layers involved. Joropo is usually characterized by its 3 over 2 polyrhythmic quality, in which the main pulse is felt in groups of 3, also known as the 6-8 feel. The bass line patterns usually play in groups of two, with a rest frequently placed on the middle beat. On top of this bass pattern, the cuatro and the maracas play consecutive eighth notes in groups of three, with occasional muted accents on the first or last beat of each group. Different varieties of joropo accentuate different beats in different ways. However, for the purpose of this arrangement, we are going to take only the last beat of every group of three and apply it to our accompanying left hand. Let's try to play it. Now that we can imitate the rhythmic section with our left hand accompaniment, it's time to bring in the right hand. An efficient way to develop some coordination between hands is to practice playing different patterns that cover every beat on the measure. Playing single and double hits on every group of three and then displacing this pattern against the accompaniment will help us start gaining the coordination required to play more complex melodic shapes. Let's start by alternating a cycle of single and double hits on the first beat of every group of three. Now let's displace the same pattern to the second beat of every group. Again, alternating singles and doubles. Now the final displacement, the same pattern starting on the third beat of every group. Now that we understand some of the main rhythmic ideas used to create this arrangement, let's get to it. Thank you for watching this Groovitude video. If you enjoy Groove related content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.